Manscaped is here to up your body grooming game. Manscaped has the revolutionary electric trimmer, the Lawnmower 3.0. It's cordless, it's waterproof, and it's guaranteed not to nick or snag your nuts or your chest because you can use it upstairs and downstairs. So go to manscaped.com, use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping. Isn't it so interesting how, you know, this duality of like the feminine is so controversial. And just like you said, I mean, you know, we get so much like, okay, if you're sexy, then that's like your only worth, right? You can't have any of these other attributes. You know, you can't be intelligent. You can't be a businesswoman. You can't be powerful. You can't be a mother. You know, it's like, you have to be one or the other. It's like society has such a hard time accepting the fact that a woman couldn't, you know, because yeah, you're sexy, but you're also other things too. I mean, everybody is more than just one thing. And so it's, it's really wonderful to talk to people who are in sex work and kind of talk about all of their other attributes. And just, I love to explore and show the world, like how women have so many different things to offer that you're not just one thing. Yes. I love that so much. And it's why I live a very like public life. I'm super active in my Instagram stories. Even in my OnlyFans page, I talk about like, I just took my kids on an amazing week long spring break and, and my fans just eat it up. Cause I think there is this hunger, this collective hunger for ourselves, for us as individuals to be fully expressed, fully unleashed, seen as a full multifaceted human and also see that in others. And I feel like by me leading that way, by refusing to be boxed or pigeonholed or labeled as one thing, it's showing others what is possible and it's giving them permission to maybe come out with their truth. And so inside my OnlyFans, we have super sexy content, of course, but we also have like really deep conversations around sexuality, freedom, expression, honoring that truth within you, not letting society, family, religion dictate who you get to be. And it is the most life-giving thing I'm honored to be part of. And that's the wonderful draw. And I think the popularity of platforms like OnlyFans is that it shows that the public really does have this, this desire and hunger for the authentic. Like you said, for a real connection with people, it's not about just being a figure head of sexuality. You know, I mean, I've been in the adult industry for 22 years and obviously I was around before these personal content platforms ever took effect were ever like had the foothold in the industry that they have now. So, you know, back when I started, you were this kind of picture perfect, like vivid box cover girl. And, you know, you always had your hair and makeup done and you would like wind in your hair. Your hair was always blowing in the wind and you were this very unattainable thing. Right. And fans would only get to meet you if they went and saw you feature dance you know, and again, you're up on a stage and they're back in the audience and they get to meet you for a second and get a signed Polaroid and a picture. And that's it. That's the only interaction they have with you. And now people can really talk to you on a one-to-one basis, like all the time on whether you're a cam model or whether you have an OnlyFans or a private Snapchat or whatever it is. And, and sex workers have seen this huge surge in you know, their popularity and their income. And I think it really does speak to just that basic human desire to have a connection. And it goes to show that your fans, yes, they think you're sexy and, and yes, they, I'm, they, I'm sure they masturbate to your content, but they also want to get to know you as a person. So like there's a whole other level to that, which never existed before. I love, I'm so glad you brought that up because it's so true. And I think that's what gives me so much excitement for like current day and future content creators, because that, that pressure to be this perfect image is so like far gone. You can still buy into that and think that's required. Um, but I'm always like teaching my clients who like want to be more self-expressed and like create content, whether it's just for Instagram or for their private platforms that like you being your authentic self and showing you as a real person is the most desirable thing. And it's a constant reminder to me when I started doing modeling, I only posted those picture perfect photos, right? And it wasn't as I got to know my community more and felt like the desire for realness that I started sharing like like selfies I would take 
And they tend to be my most like most liked, most engaged content, both on Instagram and OnlyFans, because there is there is that desire to like, are you a real person? And if you are, they want to be like they want to be part of that. And so I get excited because you could be your real self, and then you can make as much money as you want because now you are in control of what you want to create, when you want to create, how you want to create, how much you want to charge, and it just makes it so much easier for the average person, the average creator. Yeah. I mean, not to turn this conversation to me and my only fans, but I'm just going to do it real quick because you talked about that authenticity and about, you know, fans w- really connecting with you as a human, per- as a human being. And, um, you know, most of my listeners know I had a baby six months ago and I have not bounced back to my pre baby weight as quickly as I would like. I'm still like 25 pounds over my pre baby weight. And, you know, I told myself, like, I'm not going to do any more pictures for my OnlyFans until I get back to my pre-baby weight. And, you know, it was like time was ticking by and my fans were like, hey, like, I know you just had a baby, but like, we'd love to see you. You know, we think you're beautiful. And I was like, oh, okay, like, here's some pictures of me and like, my belly hasn't gone all the way down. And like, there you go. And everyone was like, I love it. And you look amazing. You look beautiful. And it's been such a bizarre experience but having an OnlyFans and having people, I'm making like just as much money as I was before. You know, people are still paying for my content. I have even more subscribers now. I post pictures of me with fucking no makeup on right out of the shower and they love it. And I never thought that I would gain the self-confidence and the love for the body that I thought that I would hate through OnlyFans. Like who would have thought that that would have helped me come to terms with my body issues that I've been struggling with my whole life. You know, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not like totally there yet where I'm like super confident in how I look now, but it's definitely helped me shift my perspective. And I've started having these thoughts lately rather than like, Oh God, you need to like lose these 25 pounds and you better, you know, get on the Peloton for another 20 minutes and don't eat that. I started to shift my thoughts toward like, what if you stayed this size and what if you were happy with it? Like, what if you remain the way you are now and like that was okay and you still loved yourself? Like, what would that look like? And that is something that I would have never considered before until I got the outpouring of support from my fans. And I feel like I might cry for a second and that's embarrassing. That is amazing. Like, this is what I'm talking about. This is how sacred our OnlyFans containers, whatever platform you have, it is so much more than just posting sexy content. You are building a community. You're like having this real connection. You're taking this brave risk of exposing yourself with no makeup, postpartum, and experiencing love for it. Like, that is so deep and healing and transformative. That's worth crying over. And it's my wish for more people to experience that. So that just like delights me to no end and just shows like how much deeper and more meaningful I think our work is than what can be assumed just by surface appearance or people's just initial reactions or judgments. So thank you for sharing that. That's so beautiful. Manscaped is here to up your body grooming game. Their Lawnmower 3.0 is a revolutionary electric trimmer that will not only not nick or snag your nuts, but can also be used on your chest hair. If you get it in the Perfect Package 3.0, it will come with a bunch of liquid formulas to keep you feeling and smelling fresh all day. And for a limited time, you can also get a free travel bag and anti-chafing boxer briefs that come with it. So go to manscaped.com, use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.